Good day, colleagues. I'm Johnny Hay from Northwest University in the Faculty of Education and more specifically the School of Psychosocial Education, a large grouping of colleagues focusing very strongly on psychosocial educational support uh, in, in education. And I'm very excited to share with you our book which is Reconceptualizing Education Support Services in South Africa. Now, this book has really uh, come to fruition after years of planning and also linked to a number of uh, research projects that we had in the faculty. It's also a personal dream come true, uh, you know, because the issue of education support services or can we also say psychoeducational social support services is a vague concept in many instances. And you will find very, very few books on this topic all over the world. Inclusive education has been the focus, you know, in South Africa for the past 20 or so years. And often the uh, the, the other section or the other component that's so crucial to make a success of inclusive education, namely education support services, have been neglected. So this book has really, uh, you know, brought to the fore the crucial uh, influence and, yes, uh, influence that, that uh, education support services will have on uh, ensuring effective implementation of inclusive education. Now, as I said, it's about the uh, coming to fruition of four research projects over a few years within our faculty, focusing very specifically on psychosocial educational wellness, on support, you know, that's rendered through, for example, some of our honors students in educational psychology, uh, then also a research project focusing on district-based support teams in certain provinces of our country, and also then improving psychosocial and educational support rendered by designated education support structures to learners and teachers in various schools of the nine provinces of South Africa. So what we tried is we divided the book into four sections the first section really about the theory underpinning education support services uh, and that gives us a very good grounding i think to you know take forward uh, as as kurt lewin said you know there's nothing as practical as a good theory so we thought yes let's look at the theories underpinning education support services and then in, in the second section we looked at what the current status of education support services is in the country. Thirdly, we looked at how can we reconceptualize these services over the next 10 years. And then lastly, we looked at a vision, you know, of an integrated vision of absolute functional education support services in South Africa over the next 10 years. What we found very interesting through the research of this book is that we have absolute disparate education support services across the nine provinces of our country. One example that comes to mind is that a few years ago we had uh, 120 plus psychological posts in the Western Cape Department of Education and at that same stage, there was no registered psychologist in Limpopo province, for example. So we, we came across these huge disparities. And in the final chapter, we look at, you know, how can we overcome these disparities through policy that's slightly more centralized and give more direction, more, you know, a a focused direction to provinces to align these support services much better. Of course, when we speak about support services, we are looking at a number of issues. We're looking at ordinary schools, you know, within our white paper six on inclusive education, we're looking at ordinary schools as the most basic 
instance where uh, support should be rendered to, to learners and teachers. Then we're looking at full service schools. Secondly, we're looking at special schools and also special schools as resource centers. And within many of these schools, then we're looking at learner support advisors or LSFs as they're often also called. And then also two crucial structures within support services are your school-based support teams and also your district-based support teams. So in various ways, we look at how these structures of support services should become more functional. We have come a far way, but in the final chapter, we are also looking ahead and say, look, these are the issues, these are the challenges at the moment of these services, and how can we really align better? How can we render the best support eventually for all our learners and also all our teachers? So in, 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 on the whole, the focus on all the different structures and aspects of education support services. We also have a chapter on how these support services are, have been rolled out in the nine provinces of our country. And uh, that gives us a lot of insight also in how these services are rendered and how the discrepancies then appear amongst all these different provinces. So eventually we hope through this book that, you know, it will really contribute tremendously to uh, upgrading the support that our learners need. And if you look at the front page also, we are looking at support for all our learners. That's one of the huge paradigm shifts that happened uh, in, in, in uh, you know, our support services from the previous psychological services within the medical model towards today, where we look at all learners in a classroom that we'd like to support as well as possible and through all different means that we can muster. Colleagues, thank you very much. I hope for all the researchers out there, you know, interested in in ed educational support, uh, we trust that this will be a, an excellent way of looking at support services across our country. Also, we've got a chapter on, you know, team functioning, because in support services, we deal with number of teams, you know, as we said, the SBSDs, the DBSDs, and team dynamics, often a huge issue within these teams and how to effectively manage these team dynamics to optimize, you know, our service to our learners and also our teachers. Colleagues, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be with you and I trust that you'll find this book enriching.